What's going on guys, Night Gaming back with another MLB The Show 20 video and in today's video we will finally find out who the number one card in MLB The Show 20 is as we're going to be doing number 20 through number one in today's video. I'm going to be doing the last 10 in depth so this video will probably be longer than the other four. Nonetheless, this is going to be a very exciting video. I'm so excited to bring this to you all. So let's start things right off with number 20. Coming in at number 20, I got 99 overall finest Trevor Bauer. In my opinion, one of the most underrated cards in the entire game. People don't give this card the love it deserves. Really good hits and caves for 9. Pretty good walks per 9 and pretty good control with maxed out pitching clutch. Great velo and break as well. And good stamina. This card has some pretty filthy pitches as well. Four seamer, that cutter acts like a slider. I mean, it kind of just acts like another fastball, but much slower than the four seamer and sinker. And then, of course, he has a slider and knuckle curve. The only real flaw with this card is no changeup. But besides that, that cutter is one of the best pitches in the game. I have such a hard time hitting it because of the massive speed differential between it, the slider, between it, the slider, and the fastball. It's just such a massive speed differential. It throws me off every single time. Trevor Bauer coming in at number 20. At number 19, I got 99 overall Larry Walker from the fifth inning program. One of the best hitters in the game and one of the biggest surprises in the game as he, this, he wasn't announced as a, legend, as a new legend at the beginning of the year. He was announced in the middle of the year when he came out. And what a good surprise he was. One of the, he's got elite defense out there in right field. He's got great speed and he can hit like heck. Just like crazy. He's an absolute slugger. He's a five-tool player in general. He plays above his lefty power. He's got pretty good vision. He's got good stats overall. There's not much more to say about this card besides his great stats. I mean, you can use him now, and I'd consider him a force to be reckoned with. Does have a little bit of a weird swing. Nonetheless, he still absolutely rakes and can play the defense well. And has good speed. Larry Walker coming in at number 19. At number 18, I got 99 overall Lou Gehrig from the Extreme Program. One of the best hitters in the entire game and another kind of forgotten about card that you... It's, a kind, it's kind of a trend on this list. There's a lot of good forgotten about cards. Lou Gehrig is, of course, forgotten about because he's part of the Extreme Program and not a lot of people have him, but he is still one of the premier sluggers in the entire game. Uh, really great contact, really great power, great vision. He's got pretty good speed over there at first base as well. Not great fielding, but doesn't matter. He's a first baseman. Lou Gehrig is going to be in there for his extreme bat, and he produces with that extreme bat, coming in at number 18. Coming in at number 17, I got 99 overall signature series Chris Sale, World Series reward. One of the best starting pitchers in the entire game, probably the best left-handed starting pitcher in this game. He's got good hits in cage for nine. He's got good velo and break. And of course, Chris Sale has that really weird delivery. And especially against lefties, it is extremely hard to hit. His control is also really, really good with good stamina. Four seamer slider circle change and two seamer. May not have the best pitch mix, but he has one of the most funky deliveries in the game. He's got very good sidearm. And if you're facing him with a, le a lefty stacked lineup, you're going to have some serious trouble hitting Chris Sale coming in at number 17. Coming in number 16, I got 99 overall MVP Babe Ruth from the Alzheimer's program. Very similar to Lou Gehrig, one of the best sluggers in the entire game. But I feel like Ruth outshines Gehrig by a little bit. He just rakes. There's no else to say with it. I used him and I loved him. One of my favorite cards in the entire game. 32 home runs, 66 RBIs, 344. He just smacked baseballs out of existence. He's got a very nice left-handed swing. And you can even stick that pretty crappy defense at first base with this card, which gives him an extremely added bonus. Babe Ruth, one of the best cards in the entire game, one of the best hitters in the entire game, I should say, coming in at number 16. At number 15, another extreme slugger, 99 overall postseason, Corey Seager, you get from completing the entire World Series program. This card, at first, when I first used him, I didn't really like him, but he has grown on me more and more, and he's gotten better and better as he's gone on. He has, actually has reverse splits where he's better against lefties, but he still mashes righties as well with good vision. And now, at shortstop, he's not going to be a good defender, which is not a good thing at shortstop, but you can luckily stick him at second or third base. So you can keep that power bat in your lineup, but you can kind of ignore the bad defense. 
Corey Seager, I used him. He just flat out rakes. One of the best hitters in the entire game coming in at number 15. Coming in at number 14, in my opinion, the best catcher in this game. 99 overall finest, Salvador Perez from the Kansas City Royals. Now, his splits may seem weird at first. And at first, I wasn't extremely excited about this card. But after I see pe saw people use him and I tried him out for myself, he was an absolute beast. I just, I love hitting with this card. I'm adding 444, and half of his hits are home runs. I love using this card so, so much. He's got great power. He's got good contact. And he's kind of has those weird sits, like splits, like JT Rumuto, where he's got good good contact, better contact against righties, and better power against lefties. Doesn't matter. He can destroy both sided pitching, and he's pretty solid defense behind the plate. Not going to give you a whole bunch of speed. But in catcher, if you get a really great slugger that competes with your outfielders, that's all you can want out of him. Salvador Perez coming in at number 14. At number 13, I got 99 overall Cy Young, Justin Verlander. At first, his fastball Vila wasn't good. It was at like 96. And a lot of people are like, really? 40 wins for this card? But they fixed it. 99 Velo, actually, not 97 Velo, but he threw the throw 99 miles an hour with that fastball. And he is just a beast. He's got great stamina, great hits and caves per nine, great control. Some home runs per nine are pretty low. Doesn't matter. He's got a great pitch mix. Four seamer, 12 six, change up slider, and two seamer. I mean, even though he doesn't have like a sinker or a cutter or anything, this card is still extremely effective and is one of the hardest cards to hit in the entire game and if you were able to grind out the united states of baseball event you were luckily rewarded with this extremely rare to get card and one of the best in the entire game justin barlander coming in at number 13 at number 12 i got 99 overall mvp jimmy fox another extreme slugger in the game and you can stick this card at catcher as well i can play first third and catcher does that mean I think he's better than Salvador Perez as a catcher? No, but as a card, yes, he's better than Salvador Perez because of that better bat. He's a better catcher, but he's a better hitter than Salvador Perez. He's a better overall card. Anyway, he's got good speed. Fielding is not good at 72. If you play him at either third or first, it's going to dip below, at third or catcher i mean it's gonna dip below 60 but doesn't matter jimmy fox hits nukes nearly max out contact with 116 and 113 power 90 vision doesn't matter jimmy fox has got a beautiful right-handed swing and just destroys baseballs into outer space jimmy fox coming in at number 12 at number 11, I got 99 overall Mookie Betts. Now, this is a little bit of an interesting pick, uh, in my opinion, and some of you guys in the comments may disagree with this pick, but hear me out on this one. He destroys right-handed pitching. You all know that. Mookie destroys righties, and he can be effective against lefties as well, depending on the lefty. Most of the time, he isn't going to be great against them, though, but the extra boost, extra boost, why he's at number 11 is because of that feeling. 99 fielding if you play him any of the secondary positions he's still going to be a diamond and he's 95 arm strength also can play second base every outfield spot in 72 speed as well Mookie Betts is one of the best hitters in the entire game he's got a very nice swing in my opinion Mookie Betts is just destroys right hand pitching and he can be sneaky good against lefties as well and he's one of the best fielders in the entire game you don't run on Mookie Mookie Betts coming in at number 11. No doubt out of here. We're going up 1-0 with a Bronx Bomber home run from Mickey Mantle. Kicking off the top 10, someone who's been here since day 1, 99 overall, Mickey Mantle, the MLB collection reward. He still, to his this day, is an absolute beast switch hitter can play everywhere in the outfield 87 fielding 94 arm strength with 92 speed and he's got great power numbers great contact numbers and good vision he is just an overall balanced and extremely good card the only downside to this card i really massively am seeing is his swing is not a really great one but if you figure it out and you figure out how to use mickey mantle he will be the most productive card in the entire game and if you prestige him it's put him in center field he'll give you diamond defense mickey mantle one of the best cards in the entire game balance incredible coming in at number 10 
At number 9, we got the kid, Ken Griffey Jr., 99 overall MVP from the 10th inning program. The only boss in that, because they, MLB The Show 20, just said, you know what, you're going to pick him anyway. It doesn't even matter about the other two. So, let's talk about the guy that is the most important boss in the game, in my opinion. He is just a righty smasher. 114, 125 against righties, and he's really good against lefties as well. Even with those not-so-great lefty numbers, he can still destroy them. He is just an absolute beast of a card, and as everyone in the game knows, he's got that beautiful, beautiful Ken Griffey Jr. swing every single time he hits his baseball. It is just so pretty, dude. And, of course, he's got 96 fielding, so wherever you play him in the outfield, he's going to give you diamond defense, plus 94 arm strength, and he also has 85 speed to go along with all of this great stuff. Craig Gravy Jr., another all-around, really balanced, incredible card coming in at number 9. At number 8, we got the best third baseman in the entire game, Manny Machado. Now, this card may not at first be incredible i mean the hitting numbers are great of course the fielding numbers are great the speed isn't exactly spectacular and you would hope from the top 10 to have good speed but machado is a th great defender over there at third base and no matter where you put him in a secondary he will give you diamond defense in 99 arm strength and when you're facing a lefty with manny machado with Manny Machado, he is just going to hit tanks. I love using this card in my lineup, and he has done very well for me. One of the best hitters in the entire game. One of the best fielders in the entire game. Not great speed, but the hitting is great. The fielding is great. You can ignore the speed for once. He's got good vision. He's got good at basically everything. Manny Machado coming in at number 8. Coming in at number 7, another OG card. We got 99 overall, Cordy Kluber, Cy Young, from the XP Reward Path Level 75 pack. And everyone in this game knows about Cordy Kluber. Great hits in case for 9. I mean, the stats, if I'm being honest, aren't spectacular for this point in the year. He's got pretty good stamina, pretty good hits in case for 9. Velo isn't great. The break is really good, of course, as the control is as well. And the home runs for 9 aren't good either. But this card just was effective. There's no denying how good Corey Kluber was when he was on the mound. Sinker, slurve, cutter, four-seamer, and changeup. He played above his attributes. Everyone may have agreed for the first five months of the game, was the best. he was the best pitcher in the entire game. Even five months into the game, facing him for like the 30th time, he was still hard to hit. He's always been a good card in this game. From the very beginning, he was unhittable. He's become more and more hittable, but he is still a difficult card to hit. One of the best starting pitchers in the entire game. Coming in at number 7. First set bat on the first pitch he sees. Launches one to give us a 2-0 lead. I missed this card. Coming in at number 6, we got 99 overall finest flashback, Cody Bellinger from the United States of Baseball event. Now, once people saw this card, it was in the game, he was actually teased, quote-unquote teased. I'm sure people, the SES accidentally put him in the game. But he was later revealed to be in the event, and people grinded their heads off for this card, as did I. And he was worth the grind, without a doubt. I love using this card. Of course, he has that beautiful, beautiful Cody Bellinger swing. He can play everywhere in the outfield with diamond defense if you play him at right field. And, of course, 99 arm strength. He also has great speed and that hitting. He's got amazing power, good contact as well with good vision. Now, it is a bit of a waste if you have to put him at first base to kind of waste that defense. But even then, he still is a massively good slugger in your lineup and he's a good really good speed as well for a great power bat Co cody bellinger coming in at number six let's go we're gonna get griffey swinging on that one pudge please throw it to first he will want two down not one down two down at number five the final starting pitcher on today's list 99 overall find us jacob de grom from the new york mets one of the hardest to hit fastballs in the entire game and he's it's from a starting pitcher. 103 stamina, 110 hits per nine, 125 Ks per nine. 
also has 88 walks per nine and 89 control he's got good control even though he of course has that outlier on that fastball four seamer slider change up curveball two seamer not a great pitch mix no sinkers no cutters but it doesn't matter he is one of the best pitchers in the entire game and i think he is the best starting pitcher in the entire game great velo great pitching clutch Case per nine maxed out. Jacob DeGrom is an absolute beast on the mound. He throws gas. Fastball is always hard to hit no matter what difficulty you're on. Hall of Fame, all-star, legend. Jacob DeGrom is one of the best pitchers in the entire game coming in at number five. Absolute bomb off Lucas Giolito. Wasn't even really on that. He just has so much power that he got it out. At number four, I got 99 overall player of the month for Nando Tatis Jr. Probably one of the best shortstops in the entire game. Probably the best infielder in the entire game in general. Now, this card, great power, great contact, great fielding. 90 fielding at shortstop with 95 arm strength. Has a gun out there. Plus 84 speed. Fernando Tatis, of course, in the month of August, everyone, he was on fire. He was the best, uh, he was the best player in August, and it wasn't even close. And this card reflected that. I personally didn't have a whole lot of success with it, but I have his prestige. He is just incredible. I mean, 300, even with that batting average, I still had an OPS over 1,000. He is still a beast. Every time you face him, he's got a beautiful right-handed swing, of course, very clean. He can go oppo on you, he can pull a home run, he can go dead center. You get a perfect part of a Fernando Tatis, bad things are going to happen for the other team coming in at number four. We are down to our final three cards, and at number three, we got 99 overall MVP Willie Mays World Series reward. And one of the best cards in the game, reflected by the fact he's at number three. Well, first, let's talk about his defense. 98 fielding, 95 arm strength, 97 accuracy, 95 reaction. Also, it's 94 speed out there in the outfield. That is elite on its own right. But they, we're not talking about his bat even yet. He's one of the best sluggers in the entire game. Of course, got a little bit of a weird swing. Nonetheless, he is still an absolute machine. 125 contact, 118 contact versus lefties. 111, 118 power, 107 vision, diamond defense, anywhere you put him with great arm strength and great speed, he's going to track everything down out there in that outfield, and he's going to give you a home run when he steps up to the plate, one of the best cards in the entire game, it's not even debatable, despite a lot of people having this card because he's a World Series reward, it doesn't matter, Willie Mays is elite, coming in at number three. Let's go. We turned on that sinker and we get the lead right back. Soto Bomb, best hitting card in the game. Coming in at number two, one of the probably the best hitter in the entire game, and it's not even particularly close. 99 overall, Juan Soto from the Washington Nationals. This card, flat out, best hitter in the game. I said it. Max out contact. M nearly maxed out power, only six power points away on the righty side of things from being maxed out all hitting stacks except vision, and he has a hundred of that as well. Of course, we take a look at his fielding and speed. It's not good. 75 fielding, 71 arm strength with 53 speed. Does that matter? Absolutely not in this case because Juan Soto has the best bat in MLB The Show history. It's debatable, but it, you can make that easily argument. So that's why he's coming in number two. He's just a slugger. I loved using this card when I did have him. He's got a great swing. Swan Soto is just a freaking beast with that bat coming in at number two. And now we're going to finally reveal the number one card in all of MLB The Show 20. We counted down the top 99 before him. Let's talk about the best card in MLB The Show 20. <laughs> Let's go, Trouty Boy. Best card in the game is going to go deep and tie this ball game up. He's almost a guaranteed hit every single time he comes to the plate. Two to two ball game. Two hits a nuke. 
What a really bad changeup, I'll be honest. Is this a surprise to anybody? The best card in MLB The Show 20 is 99 overall collection reward Mike Trout for the Legends and Flashbacks. If you disagree, I don't know what to say. This is my opinion, and I feel like this is a not even a close choice. Mike Trout, one of the, he's the second best hitter in the game behind Soto, and he gives you great speed and defense. What else can I say? I use his card for 314 at bats, and I'm betting 450 with him. 450, and 300 at bats. I love this card. You know, he hit 40 home runs, OPS of 1,300. Want 276 total bases. I can drool over these stat lines all day, but we're not going to do that. I know my stats with him are impressive, but even for people who aren't great at the game, he's still amazing. He's just amazing. I can't say much else. The stats at first, the hitting stats at first may not jump off the board, but he plays like everything is 125 on both sides. It's just incredible how he does this and how this card is this good. He's got a beautiful swing this year. Play everywhere in the outfield. He'll you know, give you diamond defense. 89 arm strength. He also has a hose. Plus 90 speed. This card is everything at once. Plays above the hitting attributes. Great fielder. Great speed. Mike Trout coming in at number one. If you did enjoy this big collection effort, to count down the top 100 this took a long time for me to make a long long time for me to make all this from ranking everyone from recording from editing I, I would really like it if you liked and subscribed that is the best way to support me and it's not even close so i appreciate you all sticking with me for this entire ride 100 to 1 mike trout is number one card in mlb the show 20 i'm united gaming i'll see you in the next one peace